As you know, President Obama is rolling out new proposals to shore up the economy, including $50 billion in new infrastructure spending and billions of dollars worth of tax incentives to encourage business investment and lending. Is it enough? Will it do the job? Let's bring in U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gary Locke. He joins us now live. Good morning to you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, Good morning, Margaret. It, it seems that the stumbling point with all of these things is job creation. We heard from small businesses this morning that they're feeling more optimistic, but they're still not hiring. And in fact, the, the money that they're borrowing, they're using simply for cash flow, not for hiring. It, it, why would this infrastructure bill, why would the small business bill encourage them to use that money for just that job creation? Well, I think it's because a lot of businesses are, are very concerned about the future. They want to know that they'll be able to borrow money uh, at good, favorable rates. Uh, a lot of the banks, uh, community banks, uh, have been uh, very reluctant, and that's why the president is moving forward with and pressing uh, on his small business uh, package of assistance, which provides incentives for the community banks to offer loans, but also more tax breaks for small and medium-sized businesses, and especially his proposal that would allow companies of all sizes uh, to fully deduct Duct. Uh, 100 percent of their expenses on capital and equipment, plant mm -hmm. and equipment, that will have a huge positive impact on business uh, growth. And with business growth, when they order more equipment that's going to be produced by other companies, that leads to jobs. So with, with this proposal, though, I mean, when you look at that NFIB survey this morning, 31 percent of those uh, who were surveyed said they're borrowing money on a regular basis, but they're borrowing it to cover their bills. What is holding up that lending? I mean, we're hearing from banks themselves who say they're simply not seeing demand from small businesses right now. Businesses don't want to put themselves out and take on debt. Well, if, if uh, under the President's proposal you have the ability to completely write off 100 percent of your expenses on plant and equipment, capital expenditures, and you're able to do that right now, that's a huge tax savings. And that's going to be a big incentive for these companies uh, to accelerate their purchases and, uh, and modernization of their plant and equipment right now instead of dragging it out or doing it over the next couple of years. That will have a huge stimulative effect in terms of the rest of the economy because when they make those orders of equipment, uh, facilities, uh, modernization, that will put people back to work. And we all know that as uh, more people are, are working, uh, they contribute to the economy, they'll be you know, shopping in malls, eating in restaurants, and supporting the rest of the economy, which is why uh, we're very pleased with the better than uh, private sector expectations of retail sales this past month. We've had eight months of positive job growth, not as much as we would like, and it definitely has to be stronger. But some of the uh, uh, recent months have actually been revised upward. And then exports. Exports are up uh, almost 18 percent over this year so far compared to, to uh, the previous year. And the trade deficit this last month actually narrowed, mm -hmm. which means that we're, we're producing more, creating jobs for the people of America instead of buying the stuff from other countries and using foreign workers to produce what we consume. Okay.